Well, everybody, this is the 392 intake manifold that I bought. Has not been modified, it's completely stock. What we're gonna do is port the intake manifold. And at the same time, we're gonna do some port matching. Right here, where it meets the cylinder head, there's a little bit of extra plastic right on the intake manifold. We're gonna remove it, clean up the insides of the intake where the composites are glued together because that restricts a little bit of airflow, which robs a little bit of power. By doing all this work, we're gonna get some more power out of this engine. These are gonna be the tools I'm gonna to be using to be doing all this port work. A little sandpaper to get to the edges, just like that. The larger one, like this one, we're gonna be using on the intake, right behind the throttle body. The point of these silver marks are to guide me so when I'm cutting them with the sandpaper, I have a clear edge, defined position where I'm ready to stop. Makes it a lot easier when you're, when you're port, doing the port matching. We got half of the intake done. You see that? Fully ported on this side. This is the driver's side. Take a look at all the dust that came out of it so far. Some of it fell on the floor, but that's most of it. And that's only on these four ports. It's a lot of material we took out of there. Well, this side is done, now let's do the other side. We're gonna do the same process. I'm gonna have to clean off all this so I can mark it with the silver pen. Now I understand why people say a catch can is a good mod for their Hemi. There is a lot of oil between this O-ring. There's a lot of oil. I didn't think it got this bad. Oh, let's see pictures. And videos of people showing what they catch in their catch can, all the oil in. You know something? I think I'm gonna get a catch can too. Look at this. What happens if you don't get a catch can? You get oil all over the place. I had no idea. The last final four of the ports. We're almost there. So this one's going so far. There's some obstruction right there. There's quite a bit on this one. This is the worst one. I asked you guys earlier in the video, but I started having to use this Dremel to reach all the way inside the port. That drill with a with a sanding paper attachment, I couldn't really reach too deep into the port, so I had to actually get my Dremel out. This is a really good tool right here. It comes with an extension. You have the Dremel and the extension. When you're using your porting tool or your Dremel, whatever tool you use, don't put too much pressure on it. Let the tool do the work. And don't stay, stay on one spot too long. You gotta move it up and down, slowly gliding over the plastic so your transitions are real smooth. This should work with any intake manifold, not just this one. We just gotta finish up the last port. On the upper side of the intake, there's just a little bit more of a transition there that I don't like. I'm just gonna smooth that out and that should be it. There you go. It's a little dusty, but overall, everything's nice and smooth now. Now we're gonna start porting behind the throttle body. I'm be using the cordless drill with the three inch sanding wheel. I think this will be the best way to do this one because it'll be more consistent. And I'm going at a pretty slow speed. It is gonna take a while though. So when you're pouring an intake manifold, you have to be patient. You can't rush this job. You want quality, you gotta take your time and follow your mark. That's how it's looking so far. 
Yeah, this looks a lot better already. Smoothing all those transitions right there towards the back. You can see the little lip of the, of the bottom section of the plenium intake. The composites are put together. It's kind of rough, it's sticking on quite a bit more than the top. The problem I had with the electrical die grinder was that it was going too fast and it was melting the plastic. So it wasn't taking it off consistently, it was like just making a hole on the side. So I stopped using that right away. Whatever you use, at least make sure it's a slower speed so you take off the material slowly but consistently. Makes for a better porting job. The porting is done. You can see from the bottom. All the ports have been cleaned, port matched. We get some superior flow on it. Give you a look from the inside, right behind the throttle body. You can see how much smoother it is and how much larger the opening is behind the throttle body. It's gonna flow a lot more air. Now we got ourselves a ported 392 intake manifold, ready for some Mexico League racing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy that's finally done and to the next project.